Okay, hello guys. Welcome back to Shay's Hobby Dot Bay. I'm behind the camera. You're looking at one of my crafting shelves. Um, this video is Theme Thursday for my Reborn Desiree doll. Um, y'all won't believe what I found her doing. She got into something. You ready for this? She got into my stickers. So she's holding a paper with fox stickers on it. And she's got one stuck on her blanket there. She's got one stuck on her blanket there. She's got one on this knee. She's got one on this knee. She's got one here on her bib. One here on her bib. OMG, Desiree, what are you doing? Okay. So we're going to move this so y'all can see. So today's theme, the main first theme, was orange. So first off, we're going to flip this up. Get it out of the way. So you can see. Try not to cover her mouth up. Alright. She has a little sleeper on. It's way too big for her of course because she needs newborn clothes and this is a zero to three months but it zips up and it and i guess i'm showing you in there it zips up it has this snap flap that comes over i rolled the sleeves up because it's too long she has a little pocket so this is not exactly orange it's a fall outfit showing leaves and the mint green and these are peachy color but having you on that does this theme Thursday did say that peachy color is kind of close to orange and is acceptable. So that's what I went with. It's the only thing I had. I only have a very few clothes. So also, this bib, which by the way, this is a, I don't know if it would be a fun, cute, or... I don't know, just a crazy little story that goes with this bib. For the ones of you that are with Reborn Dolls and sees this and don't know, my normal subbies knows about this already. I just finished this bib. This is embroidery. So I just embroidered it. This is a teddy bear on there. He's got his hand in a honey pot. And it has orange or peachy flowers on it also. And so that's why I'm letting her wear the bib. But I just finished that bib. But do you know when I bought that bib, that kit, that embroidery kit to do? It had two bibs in it. I actually bought that for my baby, who is Katie Ruth, who is my granddaughter's mama today. Uh, she is like 27 years old, 28 years old. Lord, I don't know. She was born in 91. I bought that kit to embroidery for her to use those bibs herself. I finished the first bib. This is the second one. I finished the first bib when she was 15 years old. I presented it to her. She put it on and modeled it for us. She kept it. I don't know if she still has it or not. This is the second one. I just finished this one the other day. And my granddaughter is three years old, so she no longer needs bibs. But, so I guess I decided... I told Katie I finally finished it, asked her if she wanted it for any reason. She said no. She's not planning on having any more youngins. So, uh, um, I'm letting Desiree use it. So there you go. That's that story. But she has orange on. And having you on, Gay always gives an alternative. And the alternative is, native is foxy. Foxy things. Anything foxy. So... That's why Desiree got into my stickers to get the foxes out. She wanted to have both the regular and the alternative theme. So there you go. That's my Desiree in orange and got foxy stickers all over her. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope my regulars don't mind this. I don't really consider this role playing, but I just thought it would be cute to add the sticker thing in there. So, alright, I am out of here until next time I'm done, I'm gone, toodle-doo. 
Alright guys, I'm back behind the camera. This is an update on my embroidery pot holder. Um, so that's what it looks like. Red flower, green leaves. And this is what I've got done. I've got all the green done. I am working on the red flower and this is all I have done of it. And let me tell y'all, this thing is hard to do. I don't know why, but it's hard to push this needle in that material and then grab a hold of it and pull it back through. I am mashing real hard with my finger and thumb and even this finger, it's leaving. Now, I have not worked on this today. I worked on it yesterday, but it leaves the imprint of where I've mashed the needle into my finger and it just hurts. My fingers are getting sore and red and hurting. So I can only do a little bit at the time on it each day. So that's what I'm doing. I finally got the leaves done. I've worked on this first petal. So what I'm gonna try to do is one petal a day, if I can even manage that. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna do the middle by itself one day. So five more days and I should have this done. Including today, this will be one of those days. I'm only doing a green and a red with it. But that is my update on that. And since I can't work on that a whole lot. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention. This is a little block of wax. Um, one of my friends in a text group. I had told them how it was hard. And she said to rub it on some wax. Like a candle. I tried a candle, but it wasn't deep enough. And it didn't go all the way in. So I've got in the kitchen and found we had this and I cut a block off and I tried that. I stuck it all the way in it. I rubbed it on it all over and it, it seemed to help a little bit but not as much as I need it to help. So I'm just going a little bit with a little bit with it and uh, since I can't work on that very much I'm in a crafty mood and I want to work and do things as I'm sitting watching my videos so I started on my other stuff that I've been having in mind for a long time to uh, decorate my room with, which right now this part involves decorating my cart, my shelves, whatever, whatnot, that's going to go in my room, which is over there when my daughter gets moved out. Um, but I've been crocheting different colored chains. Okay, really, really long. This is doubled. Okay, so, because like, see how it's folded in half? So it's really long. I put three together, tie them at the top, braid them, and then knot them at the end. And I'm not caring if they're even. You can see how that turned out not even. Because I like all different colors, and I like, I mean, this is just to hang on my cart to decorate it up and look it pretty. Now these, you, it's, it's hard to tell. This is red, yellow, and blue. This one is red, yellow, and green. So I need to pull one of these way over here, and I can. They're just looped around there like you do a, a string on a top of a tag through the hole. And um, I can move it over and put some things between it. This is all solid blue. This is different. Something I had made a while back, and I had never done nothing with it, so I decided to do this with it. It's actually longer, so I've just wrapped it around there more. But anyway, I'm going to do both sides. Uh, I'm also going to do my parts around here. This one is going to have material strips hanging from it, those new materials I bought. This is a scarf. I don't use scarves, so I hung it there. And I've got this stuff here that I can use. I'm gonna try to do something with it, make something out of it. I don't know, it's already pretty the way it's done up. It ain't nothing I made. I bought it like this. I don't know what they call this, I can't remember. But it's got that purple in there, plus pink and white. And it'll go with this purple, so I can have this on one side and that on the other side. And um, that's how I'm gonna be decorating for my room. So I've been working on those and making those. And that's what I wanted to do. So, there you go. Alright guys, I wanted to update you on that. I feel like I'm not telling you everything. I wanted to show you the update you on this and tell you how hard it was. And then I wanted to tell you how I'm doing just a little bit. 
and what else I'm working on crappy wise and that's that so I guess I have updated and told you everything alright guys that's all I have for you for now so I am out of here next time I'm going to go to Luke